Hi, Rob Shreve, Coastal Shores Landscaping. Thank you for viewing our October 2015 newsletter. Uh, we're coming today to you from Hampton Hall Community in Bluffton. Uh, we maintain um, 30 or so homes in here on a weekly basis. Uh, really enjoy working in here. It's a beautiful community. Um, summer is officially over now. Uh, it just seems like yesterday I was telling you what to expect as your lawn came out of dormancy and now we're uh, already talking about what to expect as it goes into dormancy. Uh, the cooler nights, shorter days, will quickly send um, your landscape into dormancy. What you're going to mostly notice is your lawn. Your lawn uh, will slowly uh, begin to lose color and uh, not grow nearly as quickly from a week-to-week -week standpoint. Um, this is a good thing. We need to allow the grass to go dormant at a natural pace. Uh, do not try to fertilize and force it to do something it doesn't naturally want to do. Uh, you're going to cause long-term damage. Um, I really don't like uh, the brown grass during the winter months any more than you do, but it's important that we allow the grass to do what it naturally wants to do. Um, in addition, I would encourage you not to overseed your lawn. Um, it is very stressful on the lawn, and just to get a few months of green out of it, um, you're, you're going to eventually kill the lawn and have to end up replacing it, so I would encourage you not to do that. Um, October typically is a dry month, and in October we can still get a few hotter days. It's important to go ahead and continue a regular watering schedule, just reduce the number of days. Um, I would say, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of one to two days, half inch to inch of water per month, or per week, I'm sorry, um, and that can be from irrigation or rain, uh, either way. Um, and it's important as we go into the winter even, to keep on a regular watering schedule. You know, we never, even though we get cold, we never get cold enough that the ground actually freezes. So it's important to go ahead and continue to water, um, you know, once every 10 days or so, again, from, from rain or irrigation is fine. Um, as we go into dormancy, grass turns brown, but there's still opportunities to beautify your property. Uh, mulch and pine straw makes everything look better, but it also protects the plants from cooler temperatures. Um, cool season flowers. There's many flowers that will last through through the frost um, that will keep your property looking really nice, give you a little color through the winter months. Um, shrubs. Uh, camellias. Camellias are one of my favorites. They bloom periodically throughout the winter months. Um, they're really great and they're green year-round with winter flowers. Um, so if there's anything else you can think of just please give us a call. Uh, check out our website uh, we're always available for a free on-site consultation and enjoy the fall in the low country. Thank you.